hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to fix all dot dll errors when you're trying to play a new game on your pc and you get that pop-up that the file is missing or you need to reinstall so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so today we'll be using grand theft auto 5 as the game in question all right so we're gonna double click on it select on yes and as you can see there's a pop-up right here saying that the game could not start because x input one underscore three dot dll is missing and it's stating that you should reinstall the program to fix the problem However, you do not need to do that. What you need to do is go to your browser. Let's just move this over for a bit, maximize this, and just put this right here for the time being. All right, and you're gonna search .dll on Google. And this one right here at the top, this link, that says dll-files.com, that's the one you need to select on. As you can see at the top, it says www.dll-files.com. All right, and then click in the search box right here and enter whichever file it says that is missing. So you're gonna enter X input one underscore three. You don't need to add the dot DLL and you just press enter or you select the search DLL file button right here. All right, so now you just click on the file right here scroll down all right and there are a lot of files right here what you need to do first is look at the architecture that is the system type whichever type of system you have whether it is a 32-bit or if it's a 64-bit system all right so what you need to do to find this out is go to your file manager let me just minimize this so i can show you all right, go to your file manager and go to this PC. If you're on Windows 7, you can go to my computer. And then you just right click on a blank spot right here and select on properties. All right, and as you can see right here, system type. This is a 64-bit operating system that I'm currently using. All right so once you find that out then you can go ahead to close this or minimize it whichever one you want and you can just minimize this because you'll be using it later all right then go back to the browser all right so the next thing right here you need to do after you find out which architecture system you have is look at the versions so this is a 3.4 version right here and as you can see above, there is also a 9.15 version. So you're going to check further up. And as you can see up further here, there is a 9.18 version also. So you're going to get the 9.18 version, which is the latest one and select on download. All right. So as it says right here, your download will start in, start in five seconds. So you just wait on that. And once the pop-up box is there, if you're using IDM, just select on start download. If you're not using IDM, then the download will start automatically at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. All right, select start. And I'm just replacing the old file that I had downloaded. And this is a small file, so it has been finished. So you're just gonna go ahead and minimize. Go to your downloads folder for wherever your downloads are stored. Mine are stored on my data volume. Yours may be in your downloads folder right here. All right. So I'm just going to go to my data volume right here. And this is the file right here. X input one underscore three. We're going to right click. You can select extract to the file name or extract here. Or you can also go ahead and select open. 
after you select open you just go ahead and select extract to and select on OK. Close this. Then open the new folder that says X input underscore X input one underscore three. And this is the file that you'll be copying. So you just right click, copy the file, and go back to this PC. Go to your internal hard drive. Go to the Windows folder. And you'll be looking for a folder called System32. So you can just select a folder and then keep pressing S until you find it. Here it is right here. Open it. Then you're going to right click on a blank spot. And then paste the file that you copied. Select on continue to give it administrator permission. All right, so now that's copied, you're going to select back. Then you're going to scroll down and look for another folder called syswow64 and open it. Then you're going to right click and paste the file here also. And select continue. All right, and now that is finished with the copying, you can just go back and select OK right here and minimize this and try to run the game again. Double click on it, select on yes. And as you can see, it is saying another file is missing right here, a D3D DLL file. So we're gonna go ahead here and get that one. You can get it from the same website as I stated before but I already have them downloaded for the other two files that are missing from this game. All right. So what I'm going to do here is right click on the one that's currently missing right now and just extract it following the same process as I did before. All right. You can get it here. As I stated before, we just search for it and this is it and just search and there it is. So you can get all the files, all missing DLL files from this website. And there you go. There, there is a 32 bit and a 64 bit version also. So you can just go ahead and download the files here, but I already have the other two files that are missing from this game downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and extract these files and put them in their rightful folder. So just extract here. All right, go into the folder. Select on the DLL file, right click and copy. Now go to your internal hard drive, to the Windows folder. Go for the system 32 folder right here. Double click on it, right click here and paste. Select on continue. Then you're gonna go back search for the syswow64 folder and repeat the process here for pasting all right select continue all right and right now we're going to just select move this to the front and just select on ok to see which file is missing all right this file is missing now this is another dll file so you're just going to go back to the downloaded folder where you downloaded all missing files. As I showed you, I already have my missing files downloaded from the same website. Right click on it and extract it and open the folder. Now you're going to select on it, right click and copy. Go to your internal hard drive to the windows folder. And then search for system 32, open it, right click on a blank spot and paste. Select on continue. Then go back and go to the syswell64 folder. Then go ahead and right click, then paste the file. Select continue. All right, now you can just go ahead here 
and select OK on this arrow right here. All right, so now we're going to just close this and we're going to try to run the game once more. So double click, select on yes. All right, and as you can see guys, the game has now started and it's no longer giving the arrows. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more of my content, please remember to hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.